It's been good. Uh, a lot of competition, so it's really been, been helpful for uh, pretty much everybody. How's it feel for you coming in this year? You know, haven't had the summer to work as opposed to last year when you're still coming up. Um, it feels great, honestly. Um, just got to keep going. Got to keep working. Got to keep grinding. Um, the main goal is to win, you know. And uh, I try to put my team in the best position by me being in the best position um, for us to be successful. I just talked about doing things a little bit differently this year in terms of pace and reading mm -hmm. stuff like that. What have you seen uh, in terms of what you want to do? Uh, just speed the game up. You know, we're too athletic as as, as a as a unit um, to play a half court game. We got a lot of guys that uh, strive in in, uh, in the open court and transition. Uh, primarily, uh, Jeff Green. Um, he's, a, he's a transition type of guy, and uh, we just got to just got to help him um, by by picking up our pace. I think that's going to be tremendous. For us. So is he looking to just get the ball up and down the court? Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to yeah, we're going to try to get the ball up and down the court a little bit more quicker. Uh, this year, and uh, we try to try to force the pace. We want, we want teams to play in our pace, and, and uh, that's what we're going to try to do this year. Coach talked a little bit about uh, depending on the lineup, you may be back at the five a little bit, but you may also be playing a lot more four this year. Has it gotten to the point where you can you'll feel comfortable going back either way? Um, I mean, positions don't really matter in, in, in this crazy media craze that y'all y'all kind of put a position on me. So it really doesn't matter to me, you know. Just whatever, whatever it helps. The team win. That's that's my main goal. You mentioned the other day about uh, your finger kind of hampering your shooting. How does that feel this year? Um, tremendous. It feels tremendous, honestly. Just to be able to go out there and understand that you, you have all five fingers to shoot. You know, it, it, it's really a blessing, and uh, hopefully it helps me out this year. What's different in Coach Stevens' coaching in these first couple days of training camp compared to you know those training camp days in Newport? Ah. Uh, Man, he's uh, more intense. You know, he's more he's more powerful with his words, um, and, and he knows what he wants. Uh, before he's just trying to feel things out, trying to feel the guys out. Now, you know, he, he has a more uh, demanding attitude. I think, and uh, I think that's going to help us tremendously. Jared, you said that conditioning was going to be something you had to work on throughout the preseason. Now that you've got a couple practices under your belt, are you where you thought you were, where you want to be? That kind of uh, thing? Not where I want to be, but, uh, you know, really, really close. Um, getting up and down to practice, and practice really been helpful. Uh, especially with the pace that we're playing, there's no choice but for me to get in shape. And so, uh, as long as practices can stay like this, you know, with the competition we have and with Brandon and, and Tyler and, and Eric Murphy, Dwight, and uh, Kelly. I mean, there's no, you have no choice but to play as hard as you can. They make you try to stay after Tyler running up and down the uh, you not, you know, it's kind of what we do. <laughs> it's part, of, it's part of the game. It's part of our job description. We got to keep up with somebody, so uh, <laughs> just got to keep playing. Do you feel like you're ahead of where you were initially in the years past? Yeah. Yeah, really ahead. Um, just but at the same time, just gotta keep working. I think that's the biggest thing for me. It's just constantly work, constantly get better, and, and just constantly push myself. He said, yeah. just said that Marcus Smart could be potentially a game changer on defense. Why do you agree with that? Uh, he honestly, he, he's, he's uh, I'm not. I'm not comparing him to Avery in those no shape or form. But uh, he, he has similarities. To Avery. Um, and he's, he's just a little bit more thicker. You know, so he can guard a little bit more positions, I think. But at the same time, um, he has he has that ball hawk, ball hawk ability like Avery, and he just changed the pace of the game. Is it instincts or is it footwork? Uh, I don't know. I think it's just the will. I think the guy like somebody like Avery and Marcus, they just have they have the will. And I think they just they just, they take uh, pride in stopping the defense. I mean, off of the player, and I think that's that's just Marcus and Avery. Coach Steven said he wants you to be more aggressive in the pick and roll of the big guys. How much has that changed this year? Uh, <laughs> it changed a lot. You know, compared to last year, uh, we wasn't, really wasn't aggressive. And uh, this year, I think he wants to be aggressive because we have aggressive defenders like Avery and Marcus and uh, Phil and, and Jeff. So we just got to be uh, as big as a unit. We got to be more aggressive. So what are you hedging out more rather than staying back? Yeah, yeah, hedging out a little bit more. And, uh, just trying to make the uh, offensive guy uncomfortable. Jared, have you seen any change in Jeff? Coach Stevens has kind of challenged him to take a little bit more of a leadership role. Yeah, I have. I have. Um, Jeff, you know, he's, he's coming in. 
Uh, I think he's bigger, according to what, what he says. He's stronger, but I don't, I don't really see it. Same, <laughs> same guy, but, uh, you know, he's just defensively, uh, this past couple days, um, he, he's just been stepping it up, and uh, I think that that's going to be helpful for Jeff, helpful for us, and uh, he just seems like a better leader. You guys drafted James Young. A lot of people were thinking of his offense. Has he surprised you with his defense so far? I, I mean, I think he was forced to play defense in Kentucky with Coach Cal. So uh, I think everybody kind of um, misunderstood him as a defensive player just because they had that big kid in the middle of the seven footer. So, uh, I mean, James is really a good defender. Um, he's long, he's active, uh, physical. And of course, he's going to have his rookie lumps. Um, and so he's, he's just he's working through.